What's up everyone, Matthew Monis here, and today I got to go hands-on with Sony's entire smartphone lineup, specifically the Xperia XA1, XA1 Ultra, the XZS, and the flagship, the XZ Premium. They're all gorgeous looking phones and sport a very familiar and similar design, but I was mostly interested in the XZS and XZ Premium due to the crazy camera tech and gorgeous displays. Okay, so the XZ Premium has a huge metal chassis with a glass sheet across the back, while the XZS sticks with just metal. I had access to the black XZ Premium. It's very shiny, so shiny that you can literally use the back of the phone as a mirror. It looks nice until you smudge it all up, but that's the price you pay for having a glass back. The bezels are bigger than most phones, but according to Sony, that's due to the placement of the fingerprint scanner. All the great stuff is there like stereo speakers, water resistance, and a place for a micro SD card. But what really stuck out to me is the camera technology. Sony, as you know, makes some pretty epic cameras and they continue to try and make the best smartphone cameras as well. The XZS and XZ Premium had the resolution dropped from 23 to 19 megapixels, but the pixels themselves are larger, which should in theory help with low light and exposure. The video mode now has a really awesome slow motion function, so you can literally shoot 960 frames per second to slow everything down. Now this is the press example you're watching and it looks great, but even the slow motion shot the Sony representative showed me of his kid looked absolutely epic. You can't shoot slow motion higher than 720p, but based on what I saw, the camera did a good job at capturing a lot of the detail. If you love slow motion, you'll have a lot of fun with this phone. Now just note that this phone still uses Sony's steady shot technology for stabilization, so no hardware stabilization is available. I'm hoping they fine tuned it to make it just as good or if not better than the pixels. Next was the display. The XZS only has a full HD IPS display. Sony feels full HD is more than plenty for a 5.2 inch phone and would rather offer you better battery life. I think that's fine as long as the phone is below 5.5 inches. As for the XZ Premium, which actually is 5.5 inches, it comes with a 4K IPS panel. The way it works is the phone is set to 1080p for the majority of tasks. However, when the phone detects there is actual 4K content, whether it be through a video or image, it will automatically adjust the resolution. Either way, the display is absolutely gorgeous and it supports HDR. So you're gonna get those nice rich whites, good contrast and vivid colors. Now, if you opt for the XZS, you'll find that HDR is not supported. Both phones have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, support high resolution audio and digital noise cancellation. Bluetooth users can take advantage of LDAC, Sony's high quality wireless audio transmission. Of course, if you don't wanna wear headphones, you don't have to. This is one of the only devices being launched this year that will have forward facing stereo speakers. The XZ Premium will come pack with the latest Snapdragon 835, which means it's packing a lot of power. Plus, you also get support for Cat16 LTE with 4x4 MIMO, which could potentially net you gigabit download speeds, of course, if your network supports it. The XZS, on the other hand, uses last year's more than capable Snapdragon 820. Both phones have four gigabytes of RAM and fairly respectable battery sizes, 3230 milliamps for the XZ Premium and 2900 for the XZS. Qualcomm's quick charging 3.0 is present and same with QNovo, which adapts charging cycles to lengthen the lifespan of your battery. Overall, the new XZ lineup is some of the same with some great advancements in camera and display technology. Now, it's too early to tell you how this will hold up in real life use but you can bet and be sure that I will be reviewing at least one of these phones. The XZS will be available in the United States on April 5th for $700 US at a select few retailers like Best Buy and Amazon, whereas the XZ Premium sometime later this month or early May. This will most likely be available as soon as Samsung's exclusive is over with the Snapdragon 835. So that wraps up my first look at both of these devices. They look fantastic. I wonder what you guys think of Sony's new smartphones in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.